everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a project share for you all i have been working on a on an album um this is an album using the prima georgia blues collection i recently hauled the flowers that i picked up from peachy cheap and i was able to find papers that go along with the collection i paid a little bit more than i would have liked mainly on shipping um but they came in like two days and i'm loving how this project has turned out so far it's not complete um but this is what i have so far i think i'm at like a stopping point for now um, i'm working on a an on an album for my son whenever he arrives this will be his first little baby book um the album itself sorry for the noise but the album itself is one of these memory hardware eight by eight the large um chipboard book I picked this up in Michaels a couple years ago when the Fenabar line was in Michaels. And once everything was getting clearanced out, I picked up a few of these. So I finally decided to put one of them to use. Um, so here is the front of my album. Um, I painted this album using, it was some gesso and some of the Doc Martin um, ink in blue. Um, I mixed those together and it created this color which pulls out some of the color from the page. I also used a hot bob pad that I've had in my stack for a long time. I think it's the Navy Blues Craftsmith. I see it but I can't reach it. And it has just different tones of dark blues. So I used that and I have pretty much every color in that those 12 by 12s. And I haven't had to buy solid cardstock 12 by 12 for a long time. <laughs> but I'm finally putting it to use, so I'm proud of myself. And then, again, a lot of this is the Prima Georgia Blues collection, except for, like, this. These are little birdie flowers, um, as well as these two blue ones. But the rest are all from that peachy cheap deal, even the butterfly. And then this frame is from Elena Cuddle. Um, I just painted it white. I think I actually just painted it with some white gesso. So it's not like all the way covered. But once I have a picture, I plan to go back in and maybe spritz it with color or something. I don't know. But I plan to have some type of picture here. I don't know. And then I just layered one of the pattern papers there. And then I added a ribbon tie to this because I know it's going to be a chunky album by the time I'm done with it. Okay. So, here are some of the scraps I have left. Um, I only used four patterns, like four. I ordered multiples of four of the double-sided pages. So, you'll see a lot of repeat patterns, like this is one page, this is from one page. this is like a page so I just been playing around with like the, making sure I'm using the front and the back to get the most out of what I had I only purchased 12 sheets total so I'm trying to optimize what I have because this collection is hard to find so on the first um on the front cover I just matted it with one of the navy blue sh um, sheets and then using my scraps I created this just basic pocket and I can fit quite a bit in there. So the first page is another frame by Elena Cuddle. I painted it with the same paint that I used for the book itself. Added more flowers. Um, for the background page. Okay, so my process was I painted the book. I then went in and matted all the basic pages. So all of the like navies, I matted it. I did some touch-ups with the paint. And then I went in and I cut pages for the inner pieces. So all these, um, the book is eight by eight. So I have like seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then, you know, I go down from there. So then based on what I had left with the scraps um, is how I did 
the po any pockets you see, as well as the front and back page. So this front page, I just ripped some of the um, the egg, the leftovers. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's there. So it made a nice little collage. I really like how it turned out. So that's what I used there. And then the, put the frame on top. These are just matted with the pattern paper that I had. This is just a basic page. This is the same as the cover. And then for these, I created a waterfall. I'm using some trim that I was gifted in one of my small wishes. Thank you again. Thank you again to the two ladies who blessed me. And I created a waterfall using the 3x4 journaling cards. I picked those up from scrapbook.com. So they are oriented two different ways. So I have this waterfall here. So I can add pictures on both sides or do journaling. And I still have quite a bit left because there's 45 pieces, 45 journaling cards in each pack. And again, just another piece of the 12 by 12. This is the back side of one of those 12 by 12s. And I created this pocket. I used a Martha Stewart punch. Um, this trim here was gifted to me and my small wishes. Thank you to the special ladies who did that again. And this is just a scrap. So I do have a pocket. And this is a bit of a thinner pocket, which is fine. I just plan on placing a four by six or um, probably some two by threes or something because I do have a sprocket and I tend to use that more than I do printing from like Walgreens. So then here I have a pocket so something can slide in like a big picture, family picture, something, I don't know. And then I created another waterfall using the um, portrait orientation of those journaling cards. Just the basic page. Again, those same patterns, just using them up. And then I did, an, a, an, again, another ripped page. Not sure what I'm gonna do for this back page. And then I created another pocket, again, with the border punch. And I didn't realize so afterwards I matted it upside down, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I love how this has turned out so far. I haven't added jewels and gotten any type of ephemera or anything because it is a boy's album. Um, and right now I'm just going to keep it simple until we figure out what we want to do with it once the baby comes. But I do already have places for pictures. I have all my scraps where I can create mats for bigger pictures. Um, so we'll just see what happens. I still have all this left. Again, I started with 12, 12, 12 by 12. So I still have one full 12 by 12. And I have all these scraps left. Everything's double sided. So I still have quite a bit that I can work with as well as the remaining journaling cards and a ton of flowers. So, but this is what I have so far. Just a bit of inspiration. Um, it's nice to do something that isn't pink. Working with the different... Um, color palette I've really enjoyed it I had the purple monotone type project now I've been working with blues so I've really really been enjoying it especially working with some of these older Prima collections although it is harder to find um, it is harder to find some of them like everything that goes with it it's been nice but I really liked how this turned out I haven't matted the back yet that'll be like the last thing that I do but yeah, this is what I have so far. Just a little inspiration. I'm trying to do a little mixed media here and there. So this is like step one of me doing that. All right, so that's all that I have. Thank you for watching and have a good day.